Recovering from the Pop by Tor Saunders. <clears throat> pop. What was that? How did that happen? Am I okay? These things all rushed through my head as my life was flipped upside down. But that's later in the story. We began during my freshman year of high school. The year was winding down and overall it had been a very good it had been very good to me. School was going well and I adjusted well from middle school to high school. Soccer was at an all time high and I was really thriving playing in the Sounders Academy. I couldn't ask for much more in my life, and I was generally pleased. But all this changed very quickly on a day in late April. It was sixth period, and I could not wait for the day to end so I could go off to practice. My last class was P, and we were currently in the middle of our football unit, so I was enjoying myself for the most part. On this day, we were having little seven-on-seven -seven scrimmages, and with about 20 minutes left in class, we were on offense. My friend dropped back for a pass, and as I was streaking down the field, he threw the ball. I jumped up to catch the ball, but it was too high, so I turned midair to see where the ball landed, and as I came down, I heard a pop. Instantly, I was concerned. My left leg felt very weak, and I knew something was wrong. I sat on the ground in a certain state of shock because this was something I had never felt before. My leg felt the weakest it had ever felt before, and I did not know what to do. Eventually, I got to, the, I got to my feet by the help of two of my friends and was trying to put weight on my leg. Eventually, I didn't need any help of my f two friends and was able to walk back up to the locker room. I wasn't in any pain at this point, but my leg definitely felt weak. The day went with me constantly icing until practice and just hoping I did nothing too serious. When I got to practice, I spoke to our trainer and she was quite worried with what had happened. So she told me that I needed to go to the team doctor and get it checked out. And this made me worried. I couldn't imagine anything too serious happened to me, a 14-year-old kid just playing football in PE, but something didn't feel right about this injury. About a week later, we went into the doctor and had I had calmed down a bit because my leg didn't feel as weak as, and I figured I just needed a couple more days off before I could play again. <clears throat> I thought the meeting was going pretty well. I got an x-ray and the doctor checked my knee and, and I felt like everything was okay. As I was waiting in the doctor's office, the doctor got back the x-rays and I was looking and was looking at them, and I was still feeling confident that it was nothing. But then it happened. The doctor looked at me and said, I'm 95% sure you have a torn ACL. What? I gave an awkward laugh because I thought he must be joking, but sadly no, his face was very serious and he was telling the truth. Emotions came rushing at me faster than ever. Fear, anger, sadness all came to me and I didn't know how to react, so I just went silent. The doctor kept talking, but I couldn't remember a thing he said. My dad was there, and he actually listened to what the doctor said, and after the, after the meeting, he told me I had to go take an MRI to confirm what the doctor thought, and I could get it done today. So I went just down the street, still in shock to get the MRI that could confirm my worst fears, put me on the sidelines for at least six months, and ruined all my confidence. The MRI was awful, since I get claustrophobic quite easily. But I got through it, and now I have to wait for a week to get the results. By far, far the slowest week of my life. But one day I remember being at school and looking at my phone and finding a text from my mom that said, MRI confirmed the doctor's worries. I'm sorry. I stopped for a second, and nothing else mattered but the text. And then it was over. I told myself, myself that I would not feel sorry for myself and get to work on the recovery so I could be, a be so I could be better than I was before the injury. This was the start of the worst period of my life. <clears throat> surgery was interesting. Before I could even go in and have surgery, I had to do a month of physical therapy so that the, the muscles would all be strong before I got surgery, which never made sense, much sense to me, seeing that I was just going to get the muscles destroyed because of the surgery. So anyways, I went through the month of therapy pretty easily, and I was feeling good by the end of the month. But then surgery day, day came, and I was nervous all over again. I remember going there and being the most nervous I'd ever been in my life. I remember right as I was going under, wondering if I would ever wake up. Unlikely, I know, but still went through my head. The surgery only took about two to three hours, but after I woke up, I had the strangest feeling ever. I could not feel my leg, and I was instantly in a panic. It was the strangest feeling I'd ever felt in my life, because all the muscles were taken from my knee, so I could not feel or move my left leg. The doctors only held me for about an hour, and after that, I was on my way. I was on the road to recovery. In the beginning, recovery was okay. I told myself that I would still be there to support the team, so I decided to do my physical therapy at the place where our team trained. This sounded like a great idea at the start, but it actually turned into, my, into part of my downfall. 
for the first couple of weeks, it was going well because I was still supported by my team and my coaches, so everything was good. But as the days went by, it started to get more and more depressing. I felt isolated and alone because I thought that I had no one to talk to about my injury. I'm a very independent person in general, so I'd never open up on my feelings and emotions to anyone, even though you have to speak and express what you're feeling. It became very difficult for me to be motivated to do anything because I went from doing the thing I love most in the world, soccer, to only being able to watch from the sidelines with no true interaction. I had to sit back on the sideline and watch all my teammates get better while I decreased in ability and confidence rapidly. So this is how recovery went for the most part. Me going to the gym, doing simple recovery work, and then sadly having to walk out and watch others improve while I was just trying to be able to run again. Don't get me wrong, I was very appreciative of the whole physical therapy team what that was helping me on out because they did a great job and I would not be the place I am now if it wasn't for that staff. This was my life for a whole year because I did not make my comeback from my ACL uh, from my ACL into injury until a year later. That feeling of making a comeback from a bad injury was one of the most incredible in my life. I was nervous of my knee and I was just hoping that my ACL would not tear again, but the relief of making a comeback from a terrible injury was great. I can still remember everything about that, that game to this day. We played an awful team because they were trying to get me back in match action. I think we ended up beating them like 10-0 or something like that, but it was great for me. When I went down to make my first save, everything felt awkward, but I knew I just had to do it because if I didn't, I would never get over it. I learned that recovering from injuries are just as much mental strength as they are physical strength because you have to believe that you will get better when you are doing your recovery. And then when you do get back to playing, you have to trust that you have done enough work and that your leg is stronger than ever. Overall, this was one of the worst times in my life, but I learned a valuable lesson that I carry with me to this day. I learned to enjoy your life and in everything you do in it because sometimes life will throw a curveball at you. But just work your hardest and come back better than before and be a better person and athlete when it's all said and done.